Hey everyone, this is Anthony from Evo Tech Pacific and in this video today we're going to learn how to engrave the inside of a ring using the Magic Art 7 laser engraving software. The machine that we'll be using this on is the L330 watt, but this can also be used for the L220 watt as well as any other of the power variants of the L3 version. The first thing we need to do is open up our ring menu. So we're going to double click on ring here and we're going to determine what we need uh, to engrave, whether we're doing the outside of the ring or we're doing the inside of the ring. In this instance, we'll be doing the inside. Now, what we need to do is get a set of verniers and measure the diameter of the inside of the ring itself and enter those parameters in this box here and then we're also going to measure the width of the ring itself now this ring is going to be a, a signet ring a men's signet ring it has a, a wider top on it than what it does with the shank so I've entered the width of the shank which is 3.55 millimeters. Now, once we've got all of those parameters in there, we can then hit OK, and it will roll out this template here that measures 3.55 millimeters in width. That makes it a little bit easier for you to place your text. So what I'm gonna do now is select my text tool, and I'm just going to type in here uh, just some text, something like that, and then I'm going to hit the activate button now this is obviously a little bit big for this so we're going to first of all center it and then what I want to do is just scale that down just a touch just so that there's nothing protruding over the ends of the template itself I'm gonna hit center again and that's pretty good for me okay so the next thing we'll do is create our toolpath and I'll select the scanline toolpath here select laser normal marking and hit create toolpath that'll create our toolpath in there and it's advising us that the rotary clamp is not connected please connect it and try again now what we'll do is move across and I'll connect up the rotary fixture and then we'll move forward from there okay so to add the fixture or the rotary fixture in we're going to slide this black plate off and we'll grab the rotary fixture itself and place that in we're going to slide that across and as we slide that across the laser engraver and the software will recognize the rotary fixture and the z-axis will move up into its actual position now we'll switch across back to the software and we'll take it from there all right so now that we have the rotary fixture uh, all engaged we can then select our magic button there We'll notice that automatically the rotary fixture will adjust its angle and if the uh, if the height needs to be adjusted on the z-axis that will also uh, automatically adjust the l2 laser doesn't do that you have to adjust the angle manually so uh, always bear that in mind if you're using an l2 uh, and the bottom uh, of the rotary info down here on this screen will actually tell you to set your rotary angle to this degree now that's going to depend on things like the width of the ring then once you have set that you should be right to go all right so now what we're going to do is uh, select which uh, marking we want to do with this now this piece happens to be a stainless steel piece so I'm going to select stainless steel deep marking here I'm going to hit 100% and leave everything else except for the repeat counter may only do say four of those and then we're not going to do a cleaning pass or a deep marking here then we'll hit start engrave and then once we hit start the protective cover will come down and we can start moving but before we do that we need to actually place the ring into the fixture itself which is what we'll do right now the, uh, the fixture is in place we're going to place the ring in where we want which is going to close up the jaws of the ring just to make sure that it's in the middle and what we need to do is ensure that the shank is as straight as possible uh, because we have this wider uh, signet ring down the bottom here okay so we can see where the laser engraving will start by hitting this button here and when we hit that that's going to show you where the engraving will start on the inside of the ring and then when we hit the bottom button here 
then that will show you where it will end. Now that's a little bit off if you ask me. So I'm going to uh, hit this side button here and move my preview inwards a little bit and then hit the up button again and I'm going to move it so that it actually starts a little bit further along. Now I also need to uh, you know just adjust where that's starting there and you can see those two lines on the inside of the ring so that's where it's going to start and that's where it's going to finish so we probably need to just make it a little bit more even and we're going to just increase where that's actually hitting until we're happy with it and I'm, I'm okay with where that's sitting if we have a look on the end there, then it'll finish there. And uh, I think that'll be fine for this particular engraving. So once we're happy with the position of the piece, we can then hit the start on the, uh, on the laser engraving software and the Magic Art 7 software. And then the protection cover will come down and the piece will begin to engrave. Now remember this is four passes, so it's halfway through now, but this should give us a, a really good engraving as far as depth is concerned and also colour, being that this is stainless steel. And if we take a look on the inside there, we can see that it's engraved that quite nicely and where we need it to be. So we can then undo the chuck and take a look at the engraving. And that's darkened up really quite nicely. And again, if you wanted to get rid of any of that excess uh, oxidization that happens to be around the text, you could use a silver cloth or a gold cloth, or you could give it a clean and polish and put it in the ultrasonic, and, uh, and that would certainly help you out. All right, so I hope that helps.